Kelly's Kit and Crew Pack, and this is my keyword on. AP News reported that in a study, research found that 16% more injuries per play occur on artificial turf compared to grass. I urge the NFL to implement real grass to ensure the success of the game in the future. I will discuss the problem and describe its needs, present the solution, and show how beneficial it would be. To begin, it is important to understand the problem and why the policy is needed. The current problem is artificial turf is having an impact on player safety. Player safety is being threatened from these artificial turf stadiums because there is an increased number of injuries in artificial turf compared to real grass. These are mostly non-contact injuries, which are avoidable. According to the National Football League Player Association, NFL players consistently experience a much higher rate of non-contact, lower extremity injuries on turf compared to natural surfaces. These injuries are prevalent in artificial turf because it does not absorb the force like real grass will. The consequences of this problem is our favorite players are being left out and injured in the season. An example of a player is Aaron Rodgers in 2023. From Fortune, a worldwide journalism source, it was the artificial turf at MetLife Stadium where the Jets and New York Giants played their home games. Even months prior to his injury, he was advocating for real grass to be used in the stadium. Although we are not playing on the field, we all have a stake in this problem and can all relate. I personally relate because I enjoy watching Sunday football. I enjoy watching the game, but don't like it when my favorite players are being injured and it could be prevented. I also have had friends who have suffered from artificial turf and would have benefited from the use of real grass. Now that I've explained the problem, I'm going to present my proposed solution. I propose a policy that mandates all National Football League stadiums and fields use real grass compared to artificial turf to prevent injuries and make the sport safer. This transition to natural grass field would be beneficial for the players in the game we love. It would be better on the players' bodies. As said in an article by USA Today, San Francisco 49ers wide receiver said, stopping on natural grass is easier and lighter on the body. So if the players are in favor of this transition, then we should accept and support this policy. It would also bring back the authenticity of the game. When we see the grass stains on the field, we see the hard work, and this is just something artificial turf cannot do. It would also keep the tradition of football alive. As spoken by Tom Blanda, SVP of Stadium Development and Operations for Las Vegas Raiders, that's the tradition of football. You walk out on the field, and you breathe in and smell the real grass. That can't be replicated with artificial field. This solves the need of preventing player, in player injuries. It would decrease the rate of lower extremity injuries, and these are the mo more injuries mostly in foot, ankle, and knee. And it would be great for the players because they would not be injured from non-contact injuries. This needs to be forced upon the NFL, a system rather than a single individual. It would make 32 football teams have safer games and practice fields. There would be 30 football stadiums that prevent less injuries during the games, and the millions of fans who watch the NFL would be more invested in the game. Since I have now explained my proposed policy change, I will discuss the potential outlook of natural grass. Imagine how great the future would be if the NFL mandated natural grass in all NFL fields. It would enhance player safety and performance in football. There would be significantly less non-contact injuries during the game. There would be a decreased number of lower extremity injuries if they use real grass fields. Overall, the games would be more enjoyable to watch. You would have the players better perform and make some groundbreaking moves. You would see some insane touchdowns by both teams. And of course, there's the added benefit of less injury timeouts. Now there is a larger impact beyond just the NFL. This would cause changes in college stadiums and the youth athlete football fields. And youth football especially, research presented at the American Academy of Pediatrics showed that concussion risk 
may be higher for athletes playing on synthetic turf fields compared with natural grass. The safety of players would not just improve for the professional athletes, but also the collegiate and the youth athletes. This would also cause the start of multiple turf dominated sports making the change to real grass. These sports include soccer, rugby, and field hockey because they would see the ultimate benefits of player safety and they would make the change too. Some examples of changes already being made is Baltimore Ravens MMT Stadium is now using natural grass. This was due to the athletes complaining about the field and the want for real grass. Now that they have the real grass, they're enjoying the game more and they're enjoying the field more. The FIFA World Cup for soccer has also implemented that all stadiums hosting this upcoming World Cup use natural grass rather than artificial turf. As you can see, this policy has a drastic impact on the future of athletes everywhere. Overall, there is a problem at hand and a need for real grass. The policy presented can solve the problem and it will ultimately benefit the future of the sport and its athletes. The NFL should mandate the use of natural grass in all stadiums and fields rather than artificial turf to ensure the success of the game in the future. I urge you all to sign this petition to show that the NFL, that we, the fans who watch the game, are advocating for the change to real grass to all stadiums, and we want no more artificial turf. Thank you.